Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hi! It's just like a very quick video that I'm going to post here to YouTube because I'm going to teach you guys how to do that simple, clean makeup look that's been very trendy lately. So let's go. This will be a very quick video live. I just want to teach you guys also film a video on YouTube para naman may mapost ako, di ba? Hey, plus I cannot teach you guys to TikTok because I don't want to make part videos. So yeah, first we're going in with the Get Ready With Me Glow Booster. I am the shade Kitana. Just putting that sa high points down cheeks. I really don't like putting it all over the face. It just gives off oily vibes, not dewy and glowy. Blending that in with this lovely cosmetics small cream brush in LC05. Guys, honestly, lovely cosmetics brushes are like good. Hindi na fall off yung bristles, unlike my OVW one. Yung OVW ko kasi is nagkakalat yung bristles niya in the hook. So I really don't like that. We are glowy. I'm first going to moisturize my lips para naman hindi siya chappy and dry, like ew. Hyper Gleam Gloss and Holly Berry. This is a gloss. It's like so hydrating. That's why I like it. I just love cherry lip shades. So pala, nag skincare na ako ng sunscreen. Of course, sunscreen. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to do the makeup lab. Go. I first, I'm going to start with my brows. I'm going to use the Colorad Brow Bestie in the shade Mocha because my hair is like brown. So that matches that. My key to doing brows is really just following your natural brow hair. I don't fucking know, like brow shape. Doesn't have to be perfect because, girl, they're not twins, so they are sisters. Hoy, that's so like cliche. Hi! Using the Lovely Cosmetics Brow Gel naman to laminate or groom my brows. Gum lang natin para hindi siya kalat kalat and nasa isang stroke lang yung brow hair, so, which looks neat. Diba? That looks so freaking good already. Mamaya ko na siya yung clean off ng concealer. We're moving to the base. Since I have dark pigments like 5 o'clock shadows, I am going to color correct first. I am going to use this again right with me in Milk and Peach Corrector. This is in the shade Medium. So yeah, Medium doesn't actually like matches with my skin tone. I'm more lighter. That's why I use Milk to lighten the concealer or the corrector. Using Color Cosmetics first base in the shade of Puerto, just my skin up perfectly, which I like. And gusto ko lang kasi natural finish, which this gives that. If you guys are wondering the quality of this video, I am filming with my iPhone 11 front cam, so it's not the best quality. My camera is charging, so we gotta do what we gotta do. Going to contour in with the Vice Cosmetics Multi Ganda in Achieve. I've used this like a hundred times already. I freaking love this one. This was literally last year, pa, I think November ish. I don't really know, but I have this last year, pa. I mean, no, not November. I have this last year, probably March. So it's been a year and I still have like a lot left. So this is very worth it. I don't know if they still have this in stock or if they face this out, but this is gold. For me, honestly, concealer or concealing is optional. I really don't have that dark under eyes, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to use concealer, which is a tad bit lighter than my skin tone concealer. For blushes, you can try to use like a more pinky blush or that very subtle baby pink blush, but for today, I'm going to use this very pink Blush, this is in the shade A Moment from Lovely Cosmetics. Blush, blush, and go. What I love about this blush kasi is even if naparami ka ng lagay, you can still share it down. It still looks natural and it'll look flawless on top of your base. Just put that in on the high points of your face, normally your cheekbone part. After all of that, go back in with your beauty blender or like your foundation brush and blend all that in. You want everything to look seamless and blended. You don't want to have like that harsh line. Setting the under eye. I used this Nichiro powder. It kind of like really has that bit of a coverage that really makes my face look dead. But I'm going in with another bronzer, this time powder bronzer naman to you know bring that warmth back. I'm going to top my blush off with another blush. I'm going to use a glowy blush naman to give it that dewy, glowy vibes of face. 
Also, I'm going to list all of the products that I used in this video in the description box. So go check that out in case I've missed to mention any of the items that I'm using today. That is essentially the base part. After I powdered my makeup, I'm going to use a setting spray so that it'll like hold the base. This is my kind of lapo lapo. Using the e.l.f. product to set my face, this is a Thursday all night microfine setting mist. Melts all the powder into the makeup and you have that skin like finish and very natural. I mean not natural but it gives off a fresh vibe. Tap tap ko lang siya with my foundation brush para you know all the powders mix in with the base. The bite so freaking cute and that's the base of Palana see that glow very fresh very clean Ugh, i freaking love this makeup so much this has become a staple in my makeup routine girl after i put on the debut today that's why i'm getting ready and it's about to rain so using concealer that is my skin tone konting konti lang dito to conceal that part lang kung saan lang yung may lakpas lakpas Okay, let's go in with the eyes part. I'm using this Advice X and Clutes palette. Honestly, lahat ng brown shades you need nandito na sa palette. So go. It's like very good for beginners. The eye part is very simple. So don't worry about that. With your transition shade, I'm going to use this shade. Using this like twirling motion to blend that very seamlessly. I also like to blend my eyeshadow upwards to give that fox eye effect that's pretty much it with the eye part just go in with your transition shade like a brown transition shade you can even use your bronzer to like really contour your eyes and that's it like it's really that simple for the lashes it's kind of optional it really depends on you if you want to wear lashes and i'm not feeling on wearing lashes today so i am going to just use a mascara I'm going to use this Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Love this so much. It's essentially the whole makeup. Let's go on with the lips now because this is like very my forte. Holy forte, but like I really enjoy this part of the lips. I'm going to use the Lee Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Oh Wow. I mean, just look at that. It like really wants up my lips. This is essentially a temporary lip filler. Honestly, you can stop here and apply your favorite nude gloss that really gives off like very fresh, very clean girl makeup. But I am a victim kind of girl, very pretty and vibes. So I'm gonna do that. If you have been following me on Instagram and TikTok, I used these two shades. This is Capovini in shade 03 and Focal Your Airy Matte in 101. Ugh. I can love this combo. First, going in with Capo Vini. Oh, look at that! I freaking love it so much. I mean, you can stop here, but I'm going to deepen the inner parts with this. God, I freaking love it so much. Going in with my blush brush without any product. I haven't like really touched a blush with this product yet. I'm just going to tap that in sa blush ko to like really amplify. We really amplify but like really, you know, retouch about the blush part for good measure lang. Setting all that in with this e.l.f. setting spray. That dry off. Now that is the final look. I freaking love how it came together. Now lastly, promise, last na talaga to, going in with my Marc Jacobs Daisy, a very girly, fruity, florally vibe. I love this so much. This was actually gifted by Miss Lovely. Thank you so much again. So, no December, I believe January, like late Christmas gift. I freaking love it so much. That is the look. Not gonna do my hair because I kind of like it this way. Kind of like really wavy lang. Okay hey guys, that is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something with this tutorial. Get ready with me and video. But if you want to follow me with my social medias on TikTok and on Instagram, it's at underscore Bastinera. It's the same username. So, go. A lot of 
quality contents. They are very premium. Hi! Premium, but like I post contents there that you might enjoy. So go check that out. Okay, guys. I'm going now. Bye-bye.